Hey everyone, I hope you all are safe and doing good. So in the series of learning C++ programming language, in the previous video we have seen what are nested loops and when and why to use nested loops. So based on that, we will see one coding exercise in this video, right? So what you have to do is, you have to write down a program to calculate sum of product of all the pairs of this array elements. This is one array having 10, 1, 3, minus 4, 7, 5, these elements. You have to find out first the pair, all the pair of these elements and then sum of the product of all the pairs. This thing you have to do. Now, if you got this problem statement, then you can pause the video and try this out right now. But if not, then it's okay. Let me explain a little bit further. The main problem here is how to find out the pair of error element. For that, you will need two loops, right? And then you have to do the product of the pair and then sum of product of all the pairs, right? Let's discuss how to find out the pair of array elements. So you have to find out the pairs of these array elements. Pairs means this 10, pair of this 10 with 1, something like this. Next pair is 10 with 3, then 10 minus 4, then 10, 7, and then 10, 5. Right? It's not like that you have, now for 1, next element is 1. Now find out pair of 1. So it's not like that 1 and 10 is a pair. No, this and this, these both are same. Right? So this is not a pair. The pair is 1, 3, 1, minus 4, 1, 7, and 1, 5. Now for 3, how many pairs? 3, 1, 3, 10. No, because we have already 10, 1, 1, and 3. So if you write down 3, 1, that is same as 1, 3. So no duplicate pair. Now 3 minus 4, 3 minus 4, 3, 7 and 3, 5. Same for minus 4, 7 minus 4, 5 and then 7, 5. These are all the pairs for these array elements, right? First you have to find out these pairs. Then you have to do the product like 10 into 1 is 10. Then plus 10 into 3 is 30. Then plus 10 into minus 4 is minus 40. Like this product and then sum of all the products. So the main thing is to find out these pairs. How you will find out these pairs? This thing you will do with nested loops. You have to use nested loop. Because if you find out the pair for 10, then 10, then 1, 3, minus 4, 7, 5. Then for 1, 3, 4, minus 4, 7, 5. Like this. So like index is 0, 1, 2, 3 or let me just take a different color pen. So index is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So first access the element 10 which is at a 0th index. Then pair it with the element at next index that is 1. Then same 10 will pair with next element that is 3 till end of the array. Right? When you take this, when you access this element 1, then pair it with next element only, not the previous one. Next element. So two loops you will need. One is i, one is j. Right? So in i we have these, these values 10, 10, 10, 10. And in j we have like 1, 3, minus 4, 7, 5, like this. Now this is i, this is j. Here we have i is 3, this is j. i is same. But J is changing for this iteration also. Right? So how we will do that? I hope now you got the basic idea of doing this program. It's not so much tough. Right? Now pause the video and try this out. So I hope you have done this. Let's create a new file coding exercise. And first, obviously you have to include that IO stream header. Then we have to use we have to use that namespace std and now in main function let's start doing coding right okay so this array we have <coughs> the name of that is data you have to find out the total so let's take a variable total and initialize it with a zero now as we have discussed we need a for loop first so int i is equal to array index should be start starts from zero so let's initialize this with with the zero because you have to access these elements of the array. So at 0th index we have 10. So int i is equal to this. And i should be less than 6. The length of that array. And i plus plus. Right. Now to find out the pair. Now i 
0. So at first we have 10. Now you have to find out the pair of this 10. So 10, 1, 10, 3, 10, minus 4, 10, 7 and 10, 5. So we'll start finding pair, pair from the next element. 10, 1. The first pair would be something like this. 10 and 1. The next element from this 10. So the inner for loop. Inner for loop would be initialized from whatever the i plus 1 with the next element and j should be less than same 6 and j plus plus right okay now we have this now you have to find out the total right so total we are going to update this total with product of all the pairs so you have to find out you have to fetch whatever the data at first the ith index then we'll do into the data at zth index because this this is i this 10 is at i this one is at j now at first right and then that product would be added to this total so plus equal to this right now after these two for loops out of these two for loops you have to print what whatever the total is right and for successful completion return 0 let's run this there is one error here okay you have to put here semicolon actually for so long I have been working in in Python so I generally forget to put the semicolon see the total is 142 so you can just find out the pair right and if you do product of all the pair you will get it's 142 right I hope you got this the working of this thing if you're not getting this working you just uh, write down this this code on a piece of paper and dry run this right then you will get it okay or let me dry run this for you for one or two iteration let's see so this is a program the main logic right if you have got this how this is working you can just stop watching this video right no need to watch further but if you haven't got let me just dry run this for you so we have this array and we have an element we have a uh, sorry variable total at first total is zero now int i here we have one more variable in this for loop that is i i at, at first is zero this condition true yes so we'll enter here now we have another element let's take here j j is i plus 1 so i is 0 so j would be 1 that's exactly we want right why let me show you now condition true 1 is less than 6 okay we will enter here now total plus equal to what we will do this is total is equal to total plus this thing so data of i now i is 0 so data of 0 means at 0th index we have 10 so at first 10 would be accessed into data of j data of j j is now 1 so 1 at 1 we have 1 so into 1 that is 10 now this would be added to total now total becomes 10 right and this is what we want first pair was 10 and 1 that is why j is i plus 1 right now after this loop we have j plus plus we are still in outer loop j plus plus means now j becomes 2 condition true now data of i would be same that is 10 because i is same for all the iteration of this j now right now i is 10 but j is now <coughs> 2 so at 2 we have 3 equal to 3 that is 30 now 30 would be added to this total and it becomes 40 i hope now you are getting now you can do this thing right same for j like 3 4 and 5 so j is here we have 3 4 5 right once j becomes 6 exit from this and now i becomes 1 now for the same j would be repeated again now j becomes at first i is 1 so j becomes at first j becomes 2 so i is 1 j is 2 like 1 3 this is the pair that is exactly what you want 1 3 not 1 10 right that is why we have taken we have initialized this j with i plus 1 right I hope you got the working of this program right and at last we'll print total right now that's it for this video now i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye
Take care.